Okay, I have Ramon Fletcher and I'm going to stop myself because I need to say the Manchester Giants now. You know, a household name for Newcastle. It's your eighth season over here. You know, it seems like you've won everything, but you know, you only had five points now, but make no mistake, your fingerprints were all over this game. I mean, it, how do you see your role at Manchester? Is it going to change or are you just going to dictate like you normally do? I think it's, I'm, I'm going to dictate of what what's needed at the time. It's going to be days like Friday where I needed to set the tone early and put my imprint in the game early from a scoring standpoint. And it's going to be games like this in the Bristol and Sheffield where I need to get everybody involved and get them ticking. You know, especially Taj and Dirk and William Lee, like things like that. And whatever I need to do, I'm going to do regardless. And it's crazy because everybody on the team calls me OG. I've never been called that in my life. And now I'm adopting it. Instead of me calling me old, I'm going to just call it original. I'm an original. <laughs> it's a good way to look at it. And, and you had 11 assists tonight. I didn't know if you knew that or not, but... I mean, the things that happen on court, it's like you can see people waving out of planes. Your vision is acceptable, but Taz Green runs the floor from hoop to hoop better than anybody in this league. Tell me about how he's playing at the moment. I love the way he's playing because he doesn't need to, the ball to score or doesn't need the ball to make plays. He's using his athleticism and his IQ to get around the basket to get in the spots that he likes versus dribble, dribble, dribble trying to get to the basket like you don't need that you don't need that and he's a rookie and you usually don't see that from rookies especially coming in the league and he's a delight to play with to be honest it's really familiar for when I I don't know if you remember Victor Moses when I played with Victor Moses in Newcastle it was very remindful of that and the same type of thing that he did and and a little bit of Darius too like me playing with Darius so it was easy I've seen them all I've seen them all I mean, we're going to fall in love with all the highlights that happened tonight and we're going to look about the dunks, but, you know, you, you're starting to get an identity of there's no easy buckets going down there. So you as guards must be able to push up knowing that if you get beat, William Lee, Roberson, Roberton, uh, Taj Gibson, uh, Taj Green, sorry, they're all back there. I mean, how comfort is that to know as a guard playing on the perimeter? It's something that Vince wanted uh, with, this, with this team because he knew me and Dirk likes to pressure. We're not like, we're not going to dig up 94 feet or anything like that, but we like to set the tone for ourselves to get going on defense. And a lot of people think we just score or try to offense, but we like to dictate on defense as well. And when you got those big men back there, we can push up a little bit more and trust that they're going to be back there to block shots or block shots without fouling. That's the biggest thing that, you know, especially bigs make it hard to do. So they do a really good job at that. Okay, thank you, Ramon. And this guy, you know, you know why he's a winner. You know, it's team first and another exceptional game. And thank you for your time. Thank you.